Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI Assistant app in Flutter and in the last video we just designed the user interface for our AI image generator so this is simply the UI now what we want is when we type some text in this we should generate an AI image when we tap on this create button okay so for that what we are gonna do is we are gonna use this package called as dart open AI okay now you might wonder why we are using this package we can also call it through API calls to be very honest uh, API call for AI image generate is quite a difficult one because we have to do it in a kind of a loop because image generation takes a lot of time and there are very high chances that we may miss some cases so for that I am already using a predefined or created package okay to make this task easier so simply you can just copy this package out that open AI and move to our VS code project okay and inside this we can paste this one and another thing I am also gonna use this cache network image okay so this is just for showing a network image if you want you can use image dot network but cache network image provides a better performance and another thing there are some special things like placeholder error widgets and that's why I like it so I am just copying it out and pasting it in our project again and simply control save and now moving to our Dart OpenAI, you can see some documentation, chat GPT and Whisper APIs are added to the library and can be used. So if you move kind of below, you can see there are many things like completions. Uh, actually, we have used completions in our past video, but we manually do the API call. Okay, but in this case, there is a kind of a code snippet that you can use. Okay, you don't have to worry about those API calls okay so if you just move below now you can see a kind of a very simple example you can provide a prompt and it can provide a result to you now you may wonder then why we did api calls if such things are available the reason is i just want you to teach you how you can do a basic api call okay so that's why and another thing to use these models if you want locks then you can enable the locks okay we are not gonna do it uh, and there is also a request timeout but the important thing is uh, we have to mention a uh, API key okay so when we open our main or before calling any API we need to mention this openai.api key okay before using this so I can just copy this code snippet and now if you move above you can see many things but for now let's move to our code and I can just terminate my app for now and inside this image controller uh, I will create a function called as create AI image and inside this the first line will be initializing this API key so I need to import this open AI package and simply here I need to initialize my API key so we have already put into our globals okay so simply inside this helpers and globals we have put that API key so simply here our API key and we just need to import it from the globals and a semicolon here and now I will create a string variable here okay so that will be a string and it will contain the generated URL so by default it will be empty and now once we receive the response so how we can call this API so you can click on this images for now and there are multiple options like you can create a fresh image you can edit a given image by providing a prompt okay and as you move below there are even more variations so you can explore them all out for now I just require this one so I'm just copying this one out and inside our codes I will paste this and now instead of this prompt astronaut on the sea what I will do is uh, I can just provide the text that user has typed so simply the text and uh, I don't want this two pics image okay I just interested in 512 because it's a bit cheaper compared to that original size and we want URL as a format okay so once we get this image what I will do is uh, simply URL is equals to uh, image dot data dot and as you can see it is actually a list of image data now why list because in this number you can specify at a time how many images you can generate from 1 to 10 
ओके बाय डिफॉल्ट इट इज़ वन एंड आई एम ऑल्सो गोन आ जनरेट वन ओनली ओके सो सिंपली आई कैन यूज द फर्स्ट आइटम ऑफ द लिस्ट और यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द जीरो इंडेक्स ऑफ द लिस्ट एंड सिंपली यू कैन सी अ यू आर एल फील्ड हियर एंड लाइक दिस नाउ इट इज शोइंग मीन एर दैट यू कांट असाइन अ नल स्ट्रिंग यू आर एल इन टू अ स्ट्रिंग टाइप सो वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन जस्ट सिंपली राइट अ टू स्ट्रिंग हियर एंड एंड इट विल डू द वर्क फॉर अस नाउ इट विल सक्सेसफुली जनरेट अ ए आई इमेज एंड इट विल पुट इन टू दैट यू आर एल एंड वी कैन शो दैट यू आर एल बट देर इज अ स्मॉल थिंग आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शो सम लोडिंग वन ऑल दिस प्रोसेस इज हैपनिंग सो वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई विल क्रिएट अ लोडिंग फॉर इनम बिकॉज आई कैन जस्ट नॉट कीप इट एज ट्रू और फॉल्स आई नीड मल्टीपल स्टेट्स ओके सो वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई विल क्रिएट अ इनम फर्स्ट एंड आई जनरली कॉल इट स्टेटस ओके देर आर मल्टीपल स्टेटस सो फर्स्ट विल बी नन ओके बाय डिफॉल्ट इट इज नॉट इनिशियलाइज सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट लाइक नन एंड देर इज अनदर स्टेटस कॉल इज लोडिंग we can also use a status that is complete so this will be more than enough we don't have to handle error okay because it will be internally handled or if error occurs it will return null so we will handle inside cache network image okay so these are some possible status that we require for now so simply i can create a variable here so status and that will be status dot none by default and i also want it to be observable because on this variable i will be updating my ui okay so it will be none which means nothing is happening currently and when this operation starts now what i want is i want it values to be changed so what i will do is status dot uh, value is equals to loading okay and actually i need to write it as status dot loading okay so it will start loading for this and once this operation is done what i will do is i will change it to complete so simply status dot value is equals to status dot complete okay and pretty simple now we can move to our image feature and we can design the respective ui for it but first for now let's run the application and till the application is launching we can copy some code snippet from this cache network image so to use it it's pretty straight forward you just have to pass the url you can specify a placeholder which means the loading and you can provide a error widget which means it should be shown when the error happens and if you want a loading like progress indicator then you can use that too for now this will do my work so i'm just copying this one out and then inside our project what i will do is i will simply show it here now how we are going to do it so simply this will be our default image now here actually i want to use a switch statement okay to make this stuff look bit easier so simply it will return a widget and i can call it my ai image okay and simply like this we can use a switch here so i can make underscore which means a private function and inside this uh we can return something so i can use a arrow operator and like this and simply a switch statement here so switch and we can specify on what basis we want to switch so our controller dot status dot value okay and simply we need to use those cases so add missing cases so it have added none so what should be shown in case of none and we can also add something like status dot complete so in this case we want to return this cache network image and another thing simply a comma and i can use status dot and loading so in this case we want to show a loader so simply i can just import first this cache network image and here what i will wish is simply controller dot url so this url field we just created some times ago and here simply instead of none i will just cut this one out and paste it here and instead of this loading we can use the widget that we created custom loading so there is nothing much a loading json is loaded in this so simply custom loading and simply import it and simply a const keyword and we can remove this semicolon and simply press control save so we need to use it here so i can just write ai image now to make this ai image dynamic we can wrap it with obx okay because 
depending upon the values we need to update it so simply a arrow operator like this and this okay and i need to import this obx and simply control save now only this portion will be updated when the status value changes rather than the whole screen and instead of circular progress indicator i can again use custom loading okay and instead of this error uh, for now i can just use a size box which means do nothing okay and it looks bit decent to me now if i just go to this screen now huh, you will see by default a image is shown but now if you click on create nothing happens so what we will do is uh, we can just uh, provide that function to this so c dot generate or ai so this one create ai image and we can remove this parenthesis okay now if i tap on it you will see nothing happens the reason is pretty simple that inside this image controller if the thing is empty we do nothing okay so simply here i need to type something so simply panda playing guitar okay and now if i just go and click on create button you will see a custom loading is showing here so this process has started but this will actually take some time because ai is generating image and as you can see that is uh, that prompt is removed which means this code is executed so simply this is the image it has generated so it looks a kind of a funny image okay and if we wish we don't want to remove this stuff from here so we can just uh, remove that line okay so this prompt will not be removed and we can try any another image so i have written something beautiful sky in night with stars and neon effect and if i click on this create now you will see the image loading starts so we need to wait a little bit and if we wish we can just open our terminal and debug console and see some request and responses here and as you can see the image is showing here so we are successfully able to generate ai generated images but I want these images to be bit curved okay so what I can do is inside this R image feature uh, I can wrap this cache network image with clip R rect widget okay so clip R rect is a kind of a special widget which can make anything curved okay so simply border radius and I can specify a border radius dot all and radius dot circular and simply I can specify a value like 10 and as you can see this is a kind of curved and it looks a bit decent to me okay so with this we successfully implemented a AI image creator feature in our application so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and bye bye